everyone. It's a new day in Ark Survival Evolved, and we have one of these little guys that we are going to tame. This is a flying bison from, if you're familiar with the Avatar series, we have an Avatar mod on our server. There's a lot to talk about with the Avatar mod, but today we're going to just talk about this little guy, the flying bison. It will be interesting to see how exactly someone is able to tame this and what they're able to harvest and what we're able to do with one once we have it tamed. <laughs> right now he is wild and he's just flying around in circles, kind of a little bit glitchy, but very, very cool. All right, we'll get busy and try to get this thing tamed and we'll be telling you about it as we do so. Okay guys, so how we're doing this is Rav is on the ground. Um, we're able to do Airbender on this server. So Rav is going to use Airbender and she's going to see about taming it. It is a passive tame. And so you go ahead and explain, Rav. Yeah, so I have tested out because we, did, uh, we tried to find information about what they prefer to eat. And um, I believe it is actually uh, veggie cakes. So oh. we made some veggie cakes. And that makes sense. Now I'm going to see if I can get in the perfect position to... I've heard it. you have to feed it to, to their feet. And it ate one. It did. Yeah, and that was 30-something uh, in taming. I can't really see. <laughs> we can see when it flies toward us, we can actually see their little taming, and it shows almost half already. Uh, we did tame one previously with mayo berries, and it took quite a while to tame that one. Yeah. And it was a glitchy tame because it was in some fights as well. So the taming uh, kept on going down, but mm. every time I fed it, it would go more up than down so yes so we have okay. tried berries but rav did some experimenting on her single player and she discovered that veggie cake seems to work really well and now Let's she's see. doing the airbender isn't that awesome it's still not hungry so and i do not have uh, a lot in stamina i have a, some in stamina but um I can't keep on hovering in the air, so I just have to wait. Right. For, yeah. Rav is being able to use the airbender ability, but it does wear off. So she's able to jump up from the ground. There she goes. And then she's able to access the taming like you would normally tame a passive tame. And there's an Argent coming toward us, so let's hope. Uh -huh. <laughs> that it does not pay attention to us. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. But I was able to give it one more cake. Yes, so... I see that. When it comes close to me, I am able to see the taming bar. It's just like and a I passive if... tame. Yeah, 71% taming. So the I wonder if it's getting been... closer. Come uh... on, Argent. Just, we're not bothering you. <laughs> Nothing to see here, Argent. Go yeah. away. All right. Good luck. It's a bit glitchy. Yeah. Uh, but I'll, uh, and I, I can't really see if it's hungry. Oh, there we had. There, there we go. So three veggie cakes? That was three, but that was a level 40, so. Um... Oh, so very low. We This was a very low level, but we did want to. Uh, use it. It was in a very good location. We wanted to be able to show you all. Now, when we get it on the ground, we can show the different ways that it harvests and how you're able to use this to your advantage in your base with your with mm -hmm. your tribe. Awesome. That is just so fun. I just love these guys. And, and it's starting uh, to get oh. dark, so hopefully yeah. everyone can see. So I yeah yeah with these you can harvest a lot of wood and thatch. Okay. And um, they also have a special oh. attack that can blow oh. things okay. away. <laughs> I was afraid something was attacking it. No. no. All right, we're gonna gamma up, gamma four, and that way we can see better. 
You see a feather? I see it so much. Yeah, over here. It's easy to see at night time. Yes. Because uh, they glow. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh. Let's scan my back down so we can see what they actually look like in the dark. <gasps> oh, isn't that pretty? They are actually from the Aberration DLC. And uh, they're, they're, they're common, kind of, but you have to know where to find them. Well, we'll have to do a video on taming each one of those. That would be a really fun video to do. So hopefully we can do that soon, guys. Oh, it's so pretty. It's flying up by the moon. The moon is spinning. <laughs> okay, back to our flying bison. Um, I'm going to gamma back up. I'm going to ride the bison. I wanted to let people see how it feels when you ride it. And we'll chop down this tree. <clears throat> May I be a passenger? Oh, we need to show that that's... as well. Here, mm -hmm. you get on and drive it, and I'll show how to be a passenger. So if you Thank hold you E choose. down, you get the choice of passenger seats. And then you can say mount right down, mount right middle, mount right up, mount left down, and so forth. So let's say mount left down. Now, did it put me? Yes, it put me in a different place. So that right, we can so see now we're going to ride, and it is just a tad bit glitchy, but let's, let's see how it is to fly. Yeah, let's. Oh, not bad, not too bad, but still so, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. It's so okay. you can have uh, one uh, who's flying and six passengers. Six passengers. That is awesome. That would be so fun. Somebody should have a tour bus on Cheshire, Cheshire Perch and <laughs> tour people around the island. <laughs> and uh, also, yeah, the stats. I mean, uh, 10,000, even the low level has 10,000 stamina. Oh my 14, goodness, so you've 14, got stamina 000, forever. Anyway. I did E yeah. again, and it shows where I was standing for that area. And it, so it puts you in the different areas on the flying bison. He's just really, really fun. So you, you've you decided, you figured out to harvest, it does not harvest bushes, won't harvest rock, no. it only will harvest trees and mostly gives you thatch, correct? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Well, that's pretty fun. All right, guys, I wanted to bring you back and show you how you could utilize these guys in your favor. We are actually beginning uh, to work on a water base over here that's a, quite a distance from our main Mystic Mayhem base. We call it our mountain base. We are going to build a big water base over in this direction. And we've been harvesting some wood and we had some stone that we had already harvested. Let me show you the inventory and look at all this that Fluff Puff is the name of this flying bison that we uh, have tamed. And look at what it all can hold. And if you notice, the weight, oh goodness, it's starting to bleed. The weight is still only a quarter, and it's able to hold all of this stuff. So this is why these guys are so awesome. This is the speed that I'm able to go holding ship. Bosco is a passenger. He's riding along with us. We're delivering, making a big delivery to Rab because she's building a bridge for us. And uh, we're able to harvest stone, wood, and thatch and everything she needs to build the bridge. And, and we're just making our way over to her. So I wanted to show you. Uh, let's see if we can get a front view. Yeah. And this, and this is just so cool. I wanted to uh, show everyone how you can utilize these awesome, amazing creatures. All right, we'll be back in just a little bit. See you. Th oh, there went Bosco. Bosco. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Are you okay, Bosco? Yep, I just jumped off to get this red drop. Oh boy. Good luck. All right, guys. We will bring you back here in a little bit.
I wanted to bring you back and show you a little bit more about Fluff Puff. Uh, we're finding out that Fluff Puff is very much more useful than we even thought. Uh, Fluff Puff can swim. We just figured this out. We didn't know that Fluff Puff can swim, and I wanted to kind of show you this under here is where our water base is going to be. And see, we can even swim way down, and, and they, the Fluff Puff does have a uh, an oxygen indicator, so we can't stay under forever. So far, it looks pretty safe under here, but um, anyway, Steffi, Steffi Rabbit Heart knows a little bit about, oh goodness, we're seeing Bosco's strange lines coming off his feet. That's weird. That's a weird graphics from the uh, airbender thing, I think. Or no, are you airbender, Bosco? Yes. Yeah. So, um, anyway, we'll just ignore that for a minute. <laughs> But this, while I walk across the bridge and back, we've built a bridge already. Rav built this earlier. And this is so that we can bring our land dinos over here to be stored over here by our water base. Um, Steffi's gonna tell you a little bit of, of history about the flying bison. Hi guys, so yeah, so um, a lot of people don't know about um, the story of the flying bison. and. Even we were pretty surprised when we saw them on the map. We were like, what is that thing? Um, but I did some research and I found out some information. And these creatures are a part of the Avatar mod. Um, and they are related mostly to the airbenders. Um, from the research that I did, um, the main um, reason for these guys is that they were the main means of transportation for air nomads and um, it was customary for young air nomads to choose a flying bison to be their lifelong companion and so basically um, what the flying bison do is they employ air bending in order to fly and as you can see it has a very wide tail and they use those tails to steer through air currents and to defend themselves from attacks. And they are also used um, to air bend. And since um, when I was reading, I found out that when young flying bison are, apparently they're incapable of flight um, for a week or two, which as we know, when you tame or breed a flying dino, when they're babies, they can't fly either. So. After they're born, they'll stay close to the ground and um, the other flying bison will protect them. They're fairly docile. Um, flying bison can be fierce but powerful opponents. And if enraged, they um, possess great physical strength. And so, um, as you notice, if you, if you hit its tail on the ground, it knocks everything back really far. Um, and that's their main way of attacking. Just a little bit of anatomy about the bison. Apparently five, flying bison have five stomachs. Um, they have brown eyes and shaggy white fur and a brown arrow that runs along their back from tail tip to forehead. They have four transversal stripes running over their back and tail, um, which ends in a brown, brown tip. Um, as you can see, they also have six legs. And on each leg, the flying bison has three toes. And um, they are primarily herbivores. Um, they have flat teeth that are shaped like peanuts. Um, and they, when fully grown, um, a, a flying bison can easily weigh up to 10 tons. Um, Ooh-wee. Yeah. So, and on this server, um, we have quite a few flying bison. We found this guy over here, um, Ember Falls, and um, the, we saw several of them, all different levels, and um, yeah, so if you have this mod on your server, um, you'll have these cute little guys, and they're pretty awesome. Hey, that was really good info, Steffi. Hmm, awesome. We were just so shocked to see that they could swim. We didn't know that they could swim. <laughs> and 
they can go pretty fast too. Now we we have pumped some speed into ours, so it can go really fast. That's pushing my shift key. It can go fairly fairly quickly, but we just love the fact that they can fly as well as swim because you know, like I say, we're real happy to be able to move from our main base move all of the structures and all of the items that we need and be able to transport them in one animal instead of having to go several trips. So that's been really nice. So anyway, I just am so excited about this and hopefully the information will help uh, others that are thinking about trying to tame it and like a recap on what we figured out is that we did try different berries, and the azul berries did work, but um, we, I think the mayo berries worked, the azul berries worked, but we found out that the veggie cakes work the best. So hopefully you guys can maybe get you one of these wonderful, lovable characters. <laughs> and, and I love the name that Vader picked out. He picked out the name Fluff Puff because he, he was the one who found this one. For us, and that's kind of what we do. We we let the person who finds the the animal be able to name them. But uh, that's this episode for today, guys. And I do appreciate each and every one of you so very, very, very much. We'll see you next episode. Bye. Bye.